Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and this is ANC Candles and Car Air Fresheners. If you are joining us for the first time, please I would like you to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell notification, all right? So you will be notified every time I put a video on my channel. And don't forget to like um, this video as well. Okay, let's get into this video today. This is a video I'll be talking about how you can approach um, retail stores if you want to if you want to pitch your car air fresheners to them and uh, you want to bring them in as an account where you can be supplying them um, either weekly bi-weekly monthly or quarterly depending on how fast your car air freshener sells in their location okay so today that's what we'll be talking about all right without any further ado let's get into it so for me this is what i've done whatever other people have done that has worked for them that's great this is what i've done that has worked for me and is still working for me and i'm not saying that this method is going to give you 100 percent proof that you're going to get accounts because even me myself i still get rejected in some places so out of um say uh, 15 or 20 uh, places I've, I've written down and i've visited about you know half of those places and let's just put it the way it is now okay so I, I visited about 15 places and i wrote down about 20 of them the rest of the five i've not gone to see yet but the 15 i visited so far only six people or six um businesses have agreed to carry my car air freshener I would say that's a success for me uh, because I was actually expecting to only have about two or three businesses to say yes. But um, so far, six of them said yes to me. And um, I think the method I'm using seems to be working. And today I'm going to start sharing that with you guys. Like I've said before, I don't really hide anything from you guys when it comes to my Kaya Freshness. I don't hide anything from you guys. I tell you guys what I do. If what I do is working for me, I think you should try it. You know, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, keep trying. Go to the next place and, you know, offer them your um, car air freshness. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do to approach businesses to sell your products, your car air freshener, your candles or your soap, is you want to make sure you have the list of these places you're going to go to. All right. And sometimes you might have the list and you might just be driving to a location and you might spot another location that has nothing to do with your list. And if you have that gut feeling to go in there, you should go in. That's how I got my my um, sixth location. I was just driving and I saw uh, a store. I said, oh, that looks like a gift store. Let me jump in. in. And I went in and they accepted me. OK, so first of all, I want to write down. Um, the names of businesses around your location, like um, gift stores, convenience stores, um, gas stations. Okay, those are the, the places you want to write down. Car um, washing area, like car car wash areas. You want to write them down, and you want to you know start putting um, addresses down, phone numbers down, and then the next thing you want to do is start driving to these locations. Okay. I'm just saying driving, meaning not saying you should go and start pitching. No. First thing you want to do is you want to go to these places and just survey the area. Again, not all of them you will have the opportunity to survey the areas. Like the impromptu ones, you're just driving around and you see, you just jump in there and pitch your product. Those ones, you know, you just you just went with your gut feeling, which I've done before. But what I'm saying with this is you want to go to these places and just survey the areas, okay? Just to know if they sell something like this, if they sell what you're trying to pitch in. You know, it's like going to a restaurant and say you want to sell your car air freshener. Of course, okay, that's a bad example. Okay, it's like going to a store that doesn't carry car air fresheners or doesn't carry gift um, goods or products or doesn't carry candles or any of that. They just probably sell books. Okay, let's just say these people just sell books. You can't just go there and want to pitch your car air freshener there, right? So you want to 
go there and survey and um, survey the area to make sure what you're coming there to present to them is something they would carry and some of them might not even be carrying anything like high fresheners or candles and you might be the first person they will um, accept like the one i did last time she hasn't carried any kaya fresheners before mine was the first one she said yes to and it's because she carries candles and she carries other um other stuff like um you know um flowers and um gifts um products you know like things like handmade stuff she carries all of that stuff so i went there and she was able to say um she would like to carry that all right, so that's the the second thing you do. You go into the stores and you just quickly survey the place, all right, and to make sure it's a place that you want to sell your car air freshener and it's a place you're going to um, be open to hearing you or listening to what you have to say. So the third thing you want to do is to make sure when you when you finish surveying and collecting your, your data from these stores is to come back home come back to your office, come back to where, wherever you're making your car air freshener and start making your, your wholesale price list. It's very important that you make those price lists, okay? They will look something like this, all right? All right? You want to make something like this so you can take to them, okay? And the other page should have the fragrance that you carry. All right, should have the fragrance that you carry. All right, and also you in your um, wholesale price list, you want to have the minimum order quantity that they need to know. So if you're presenting to them, you want to let them know that hey, you need to you need to buy 100 or 50 or 30 to qualify for my wholesale price. Mine is 100 for them to qualify for my wholesale price. Okay, and if they don't. Uh, feel the need to do that it's fine you know you can just tell them okay maybe next time when they are ready you know you can do that with them but if you as a person want to make your product known to the community there are ways you can do that by saying okay i usually accept 100 moqs but i just want to bring my name out there i just want to put my name out there so i can go 50 moq to give you a lower price Okay, to give you the same, I mean, the same um, uh, wholesale price. Okay, and the second way is to say, I'm going to stick to my 100, but instead of this price, I'm going to bring it down this price so that I can just either make a little profit or break even just to push our name out there. You can do either one of these two, but don't present this to them, you know, initially. You want to go with what you already have. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not sounding unsure of yourself. Uh, you've done your numbers, you've done your calculation at home to make sure whatever you're telling them, 50 um, MOQ equals to this price, 100 MOQ equals to this price. Make sure you've done your numbers at home and you know that whichever way you, you go, you are not making a loss, okay? That's another thing I would like to tell you guys. You got to be able to market your, your car air fresheners, okay? You have to be able to market it. And one of the biggest uh, marketing or selling um, points for me is the 3MM that mine has. It's thicker than the regular ones. And every time I've shown um, business owners my car air freshener, I always point to that. I always uh, mention that is it is different because of the thickness. And with the thickness comes with longevity, okay? So with that, you know, you see them nodding their head in, you know, in response, in agreement that, yes, it is true, it is different, it is thicker, and it will last longer. So that's what I've done to, to sell my product to them. And another selling point for me to them is that, you know, I am local. I will deliver your product to you free of charge. I will drive it to your area free of charge as long as you leave within 20 miles radius from me i will deliver it to you free of charge and that's another way i was able to win a lot of them okay let me not jump the gun let me just go step by step as i um continue okay so that's something you can come home and you start doing and start getting ready then you go to a, a print shop and you can print this um 
so you can print this uh, wholesale list and you can put them in a nice folder okay or envelope put them there and you take them with you okay don't just carry them like this put them in a folder in a binder or carry them in your bag any place you can put them to to make it look professional all right you want to do that all right the other thing you also need to make the other thing you also need to do is to make sure you have your car air fresheners samples to go with you all right so you can present to them you want to show them as you're talking to them all right so you want to make sure you have those ready and usually I, I, I go with um, something like this. I hold it with my folder and with everything I have to go with. I hold it and when I'm talking to them, I'm bringing, I'm bringing it out. Just like that. And I'm showing it to them. Just like that. Okay. So I've been going around. Like when I get to the final one, I get home, I make more and I load them in and I go again. Okay, so that's the way I've been doing it. To make sure that you are ready. When, not when they're asking you, you saying, oh, um, I don't know. Um, um, let me get, uh, let, let, me, let me show you something on my phone. Let me show you the image on my phone. That's how I keep my fresh night. No, you don't want to do that. You want to show them tangible products. You want to show it to them so they can hold it. Okay, I'll get to that point. I'm just showing you guys things that you need to get ready before you go see a potential prospect, okay? I want to show you guys all of that first. Okay, so the other thing I do is every one of us have a cell phone. I take my cell phone with me with the digital, digital copy of this, all right? I say digital copy of this is because even though you show them this some of them we also prefer that you send them the digital form or format so they can just you know check what they want and then email it back to you immediately why others will just tell you take the form feel whatever you want to feel for me and um, send it to me others will do that so this is just to show them your your wholesale list okay you just want to show them your wholesale price list all right so when you do that they see that you're organized they see that you know what you're doing they see that you're not just you know someone that just sprung up from somewhere and decided to you know do a business like this all right other thing I want to say is if you, if you have a cell phone you take that if you have a tablet like this you go with your tablet I always went with this tablet it just looks professional going to a business like this okay once they see you coming into their store into their shop like this they know you are a business person they know you are there for something special okay so you just and they and they want to listen to what you're saying because your 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 appearance you presented very well okay so that's um the other thing I want to show you, but if you don't have a tablet, you don't need to take a tablet. You just go with your folder and you go with uh, whatever small bag you have or backpack you have. Well, I try to stay away from backpack except if I'm selling my, if I'm going to pitch my candles, I carry my backpack because that's where I put my candles. But for car air freshener, I just, it's just so, see how, you know, small and easy. To carry around is not intimidating to them you know it's just easy talk to them as you're talking you're bringing it out you're showing them what you have you know stuff like that so that's that's what I'll say if you have a small bag that can fit your car freshener you can carry it if you have um, you know a bigger bag if you're selling candles or soap I want to it, it's fine it's just it's just me personally whatever I want to do when it comes to housing your product you do it okay all right so now let's talk about digital if you don't want to use this system you can use the online system so I have both right so I can either send them this digitally 
and they can fill it up and email it back to me. Or I can give it to them like this and they can fill it up in front of me or ask me to give them my best selling fragrance. Um, yeah, fragrance, right? So I'll, I'll go home and I'll do it. But recently, I have upgraded my digital um, way of filling the form. I'm now using Google Forms. It is so easy. I created that for my for my business for for collecting um, the forms from them. So I've replicated this into my Google Form. That's the other way I've been able to do it, and I like it because it's like boom, and then you collect you know like you collect the information and you save it in the information you're collecting is just you know the name of the business if they have a phone number you have that their email address if they have a website you have that and also now you, and now you have the record of the um the amount of product they've ordered so the next time they reorder now you have that data that shows what they ordered the first time and the second time. That way you can know exactly which um, car air freshener their customers are buying the most because the ones they are buying the most is the ones they will be reordering from you. So from that way you can have a data analysis to see, okay, this is the product that is selling the most in this location and this is the product that is selling the most in that location. So you can collect this data and know what to do to improve your business, okay? All right, so after you've done all this stuff, you've gotten your, your, your list, you've visited them in the first place to just survey the area, and you've collected your mental data to see if your product will be selling in this, if, to see if your product will, will do well in this store or to see if they're going to carry your product, and you've come home, you've you know, done your wholesale price list, you've designed it, you've done your Google Forms, you've done everything, you're ready. So now is the day that you're going to go and start talking to them officially. So how can you or how should you approach these businesses? That's what we'll be talking about next. Okay, so how should you approach these businesses? Remember, these are businesses that have been around and some of them know how you know to um to talk to vendors they know how to approach vendors they know questions to ask vendors and they know the answers they are looking for so you just don't want to go there without preparing without getting your mind ready and by the way the day before you go if you're going for the first time make sure you have a good night's sleep also, the, the second thing you need to do, you want to make sure you are well-groomed, okay? If you're, if you're a guy with facial hair, you want to make sure you, you shave properly, you know, you shave nicely. You know, some of them might not even care, but first impression lasts a long time, okay? So you want to make sure you are well-groomed and, you know, well, you know, polished, your hair all in place, you know, if you have long, if you have hair, make sure everything is in place um you want to make sure your beard you know is is, is well groomed i want to also make sure you're dressing nice okay you don't want to just dress anyhow and just go there first impression really matters okay and remember you're representing your business you are the face of your business okay if you just want to represent your business anyhow then they will treat you anyhow Okay, you want to make sure you are putting your best foot forward the first day you visit any of the stores. Okay, the second thing you want to do is that you want to make sure you do not forget your folders. You don't want to forget your folders. Okay, you don't want to forget this. You want to make sure you have this because this is where your um, wholesale price list is. Okay, you want to make sure you have this. And also, make sure you carry your listings, all right? All the lists you've made, you want to carry them. You want to take them with you so as you drive to one location, you know that the next location will be this one. The next one will be that one. And the way I did mine was that I made sure that I arranged them by their, by their close proximity. So if, 
if, if my first store is um, one mile away from my house, I want to make sure the next one I'm going to is closer to that first one so that I don't go like go from A to V and then from V to B then from B to Z, then from Z to F, then you just like going or just scattering everywhere. You want to make sure the, the areas are kind of closer to each other so you can just save number one on gas, number two on time, okay? So you want to make sure you have those in place, all right? Also, you want to go with your product. You want to go with it so they can see it. And don't forget to make sure if you're using your cell phone or your tablet, you want to make sure that the image you're going to show them of your um, wholesale price list or you just want to show them some images of your product. Apart from the ones you have here, you want to also show them some of the other designs that you have, okay? You want to make sure they are already set so when you click your phone when you open your phone that's what you see you don't want to go there and you start looking for the images and you start clicking oh it's in this folder let's go to this folder oh no it's on this folder oh i think it's on the download folder no you don't want to do that you want to make sure it's already there it's ready so now as you open your phone boom it's right there so you don't waste their time and they don't look at you like this person is is just disorganized I can't do business with this person. Okay, so you don't want to make them look at you like that. Okay, so now everything you have is ready and you are driving on your way to your first location. All right, you approach your first location. The first thing I do when I approach my first location, whoever I see there, whether is a seller, um, whether, is a, whether is a salesperson or the owner, or anybody at all I see there, you want to say good morning, good afternoon to them, okay? And I want to also point this out. The preferred time I like to go is between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., okay? I've gone to other places after those hours because they told me to come back because that's when the owner will be around. But for me to start, I have to go be before and um, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. because that's when usually you see the owner of the stores. Sometimes you will miss them. Sometimes some of them come in at 7 a.m. And you know, if you don't have kids, I have kids, I have to do things with them in the morning before I leave. So if you don't have kids, maybe you can say, all right, I'm going to wake up early and I'm going to go. And see them very early in the morning that you can do but the ones that I've been to majority of them have been able to catch them between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. okay I just want to put that as a side note so now when you when you enter the store you greet whoever you see there if you if you have someone at the you know the cash register say hi to them and be nice right say good morning to them it doesn't hurt anybody and smile okay you go in there you you're there to represent your company if you want to wear you know a nice t-shirt that has your company name do it by all means if you just want to wear you know something presentable you know like a button-down shirt talking do that as well if you want to do that okay just make sure you look presentable all right okay so you go in there, you say good morning or, you know, you know, hi to somebody in there and you ask, please, may I speak with the manager or the store owner? Okay. And as soon as you say that, you wait for the response of the person. Right? So when you get in the store and you say your good mornings to whoever you see there, I like to say good morning to anybody I see in the store, whether it's a seller, the buyer or any vendor greet them smile represent your company okay so as soon as you go in there good morning if it's the if, if it is the um salesperson you see or the owner but you don't know this person is the owner you just go there and you go hey good morning my name is john doe okay i am the owner of puts a company's name there okay 
And all right, let me just use myself as an example so I can tell you guys how I approach um, businesses. So I walk in there and I say, good morning, my name is Chris. Please may I speak with the owner of the store or with the manager? And then you wait for their response. It is not a monologue, it's a dialogue. You want to make sure they answer you, not you going, hey, good morning, my name is Chris and I would like to talk to your manager or, your, or, or the owner of the store because I have this product that I know you guys would like to see and blah, 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 blah. You just keep rambling. They will be looking at you like, what in the world? Who is this person? Okay, no, you want to make it, you know, a conversation. You want to listen to them as well. So, hey, my name is Chris. I am the owner of ANC Candles and Car Air Freshener. Please, may I speak? with the owner or the manager of the store. And then you wait for them to re respond. And they might say, oh, um, the manager is inside. You want me to go call him for you? And your response, of course, please, if you don't mind, okay? Or you might meet the manager there and the person might respond, oh, I am the owner and I am the store manager. How may I help you, okay? And now you've gotten the attention. All right. So now that's when you start pitching. And then I go and I say, I make car air freshener here locally and I am fully registered with the state as a business. And I want to see if you will be interested to see what I have and potentially carry my product. And as you're talking to them, as you're talking to them, you're showing them immediately what you have and you're handing the product to them all right as you're talking i make a air freshener and i am registered here in the states and i would like to show you what i have and you give it to them and he looks at it while you sit talking and you're telling him the uh, benefits of your car air freshener, the longevity. You know, you're just telling them things about your car air freshener. And make sure you know your car air freshener. Make sure you know what, you, um, what you're making. Okay, and make sure you know what you're giving to them. All right, if you're giving them coffee, don't tell them, okay, the one you have in your hand is lemon. And they're looking at it like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like lemon to me. Make sure you know what you're giving to them. All right. So and then you explaining to them, you know, the benefits of your car air freshener, why they should pick your car air freshener over the other car air fresheners and why they should use you as their vendor. OK, so that's when you start talking to them and they will ask you questions. All right. So one of the questions they will ask you is this. So they will ask you, how many have you sold? All right. This is something common because they want to know if this is going to sell in their store. All right. If you haven't sold any yet. OK. If you haven't sold any yet, be upfront with them. Be transparent with them. When I didn't sell any, I used to tell them the same. Say, oh, I haven't started yet selling outside. This is my first time launching it and I'm approaching you to see if you guys will give me the opportunity to start selling my products, okay? And if you have started selling, say you're selling on Etsy, on eBay, or Amazon, or on your website, you can tell them, I've started selling on my website, I've selling, I'm selling on, on my Amazon. And if you have proof that you've been selling on your Amazon, you can take out your phone, that's why I say come with your phone or your tablet, take out your phone and you show them the statistics of how much you've been selling on Amazon, okay? You show them that. And, you know, then that gives them a boost, okay? If you haven't sold anything, don't worry. We all start somewhere, okay? And some of them will give you the chance because you are being honest with them, okay? So the second question they might ask you is this. Okay, so what is your wholesale price? This is when you come out with your price list. And then you start showing them your price list. And they might tell you, oh, wow. These prices are really high. I don't know if my customers will be able to buy this at this rate. And then you tell them, okay, I understand this is high and we are a smaller company. We just started, okay? And so far, we're introducing this to the community. As we're getting bigger, 
we're going to get more uh, of, of our prices down by increasing our raw material purchases okay so the the higher we, we buy the lower the cost will be and then just let them know that you are you know a small company you just started and they will understand they've been a small company before so they will understand that and they will even try to negotiate with you and it's okay for them to negotiate with you because they are looking out for their best interest as well right so let them negotiate let them tell you okay i can't pay that i want to pay this and then you can say all right my um, MOQ is 100 for 275 um, wholesale price. You can sell this for $5 retail price if you want. Okay? And then they might say, um, how about if I want to take it for 125 And then you can tell them you can do that for 125 but you have to order more, say 200 or 300 depending on how you look at it. Okay? And they might even say, oh, it's too, it's too much for me to want to risk that amount. And then you can also tell them, all right, I can give you a, um, a trial. You can start with 50, okay? And you can choose any fragrance you want. You can start with 50, and this is the price I will give you. I can give you the price for 150 for the 50, so you can start. Again, I'm saying all these random numbers for you to, you know, play around with before you go see them. Because when you're telling them 150 for 50, you want to make sure that you are not making a loss. Okay? You're making a profit. All right? Whether it's a small profit or it's a large margin of profit, make sure you know exactly the numbers you're telling them. Okay? And also, the other question they will ask you is, what is the lead time? If I order today, when will the product be ready? And that's when you can tell them, okay, if you order today, my lead time, and this is specific to you. For me, I tell them one week. I tell them one week, but I deliver within three days. The reason is because you want, you want to under promise and over deliver. All right. So you don't want to tell them three days and then something happens in between because we all have lives, right? Something happens in between that you have to leave everything and go focus on that stuff you know and then one three days comes four days and you realize that oh my god i didn't deliver their uh, their product that will look bad on your business that will look bad on you so you don't want to do that so usually i tell them one week and i deliver within three days okay so if they order like 400 then i tell them two weeks and then i try to deliver within seven days right before the before the um two weeks so that's what i do and if you guys want to play around these numbers you can before you go see them because it's very important that you don't make any loss during this step okay okay so the other thing that they might also ask you is what stores are you selling to right now or what stores will you be selling to right now you don't want to make the mistake and say, I'm selling to the store right um, beside you or, or about 100 feet away from you. You don't want to do that, okay? I've done that before and it backfired because they don't want to have that competition with each other. Okay, so what I do is I tell them, okay, I have this store um, that I'm selling um, to, maybe downtown, and your store that is um, that I will be selling to listen to the, the words I'm using your store that I will be selling to mentally I'm letting them know that I'm going to be selling in your store and they are shaking their head when I'm talking about this so do, I said then what I do is I try not to make you guys get too close when I'm selling um because because I, I don't want that competition between you guys i want you to be selling this here so that everybody around your your local community will be buying this product here from you then i go to a different store and i do the same thing with them so they know they are not competing with each other closely okay so that's what i want to show you guys here all right so now that you've seen how i approach my um, perspective um, account, I want you to also go and try it yourself. You can never win if you don't try. 
you will never get these businesses to say yes if you don't even approach them all right so you go and do this yourself and try if you have any questions you let me know if you um haven't joined the facebook group join the facebook group and that that way you can get in, con in contact with me directly actually and also i have a form down in the description that you guys can fill if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me um through phone call where you can just ask me anything for 20 minutes and that phone call is free or that consultation is free is for 20 minutes you can fill that form and let me know you know by just submitting that and when i see that we can make um a time for that all right so it is it's free 20 minutes conversation you can ask me whatever i want to ask me you can pick my brain whatever i want to ask me you can do that but if you want to go further then you can choose the other package all right all right guys um the next video i will be doing i i know i said i will be giving you guys i will showing you guys how you can make your own um google form for your wholesale but this video is already too long so i'm going to make that um in a separate video and i'm going to make it extensive whereby i will show you guys every single thing whereby you, whereby you guys will be able to click where i click and uh, move things the way i move things and you guys will see it exactly the way you know i have it on mine and you can replicate that and use that for yourself all right guys thank you for watching i hope you're having a good day don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like and don't forget to hit that bell notification so every time i put a new video you will be notified on them thank you so much for watching and god bless you bye bye